at this moment that he knew he fucked Send this baby to the grave. Oh. Let's see if it's time I move on. Let's go to the dealership. Look at all of these little little breaks and marks. We can't even put this back on. It's so broken. Hey yeah yeah. Let's go to the dealership. Alright. To the dealership we go. Let's get out of here.
picked you up at the dealership a few months ago, and I crashed right at the dealership when I bought you. Huh, I'm sticky today. Oh, come on. Now let's go look at the new cars. Okay, so basically I want a new Tesla, and this is my old one. At the car. Oh, come on, remember what happened to my trunk? Ooh, oh, yeah, I do remember that. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. And whatever, I just fall so apart. I'm extremely sorry, sir. You cannot return this junk car, whatever this is, according to our company's policies, but we can give you a new one for a little bit more than this one's worth. Oh, yeah, no. I wasn't going to return it. I mean, this is my first car ever. Pretty bad. I didn't know why this would be my first car. But anyway, thanks for the discount. Um... Sir, I never mentioned any discount. I said you're going to have to pay more than what that car is since the value has gone up. Oh. But you said I could pay what this car is worth for a new one. Mark my words, sir. I never said that you had to pay this amount. I said that you're going to have to pay more than what this car is worth because of the value of this car has gone down. You said I could pay for a new car exactly what this is worth. I have a video of it. Sir, first of all, we are going to have to kick you out of the dealership because you've been spying on us. Second of all, you are stating evidence that we haven't even said. And third of all, there's no proof. Oh, really? So you don't believe me that I don't have proof? You can pay a new car for what this car is worth. Exactly. But you still have to be kicked out of the Tesla dealership for being rude to one of our employees. Give me a new car. You can't get a new car without paying for it. Right. Oh, he's still in the car. Go, go, go. What? Why do you have a Tesla shirt on? Did you call security? I did. This is our security. That's my car, though. I paid. No, for you were rude to us. We're taking your car away. We're I taking your car that. away. I paid for that. I paid for that. I've had it for. That's it, I'm calling the cops. My phone wasn't there. You don't own the Apple. I mean, yeah. Tesla just bought Apple. Do you want us to call Elon Musk? Ow! Do it. Fine. What? Can I at least say goodbye to them in private? Uh, you may only say goodbye to them unless our security guard over there is sitting in the car with, the, with you. Have you ever heard of privacy? Can I just say goodbye to some privately? In private words? According to Elon and our company policies, you may not do that because that could be in a way for you to take the car away. See, I well, told you he called. Well, pick up. Let's see. I'm sorry, sir. But you are prohibited from Tesla dealerships and other things. For, for being rude to our amazing employees. And yes, we do not own Apple, and I'm afraid we're gonna have to take away your iPhone, sir. We have, we're allowed to do that. So, what if I give you the car keys to the car? Then I can't drive away in any way. You would have to give the phone, the car keys, and all of the Tesla connecting devices, because with your phone, you can also start the car. You at least let me be right here and you no one's in the car and i say goodbye if you give us your phone but you need to get the phone and then you could say goodbye to the phone by itself can't you just, like can't you just be right there and just watch me say goodbye to them fine but our security guard is gonna have to be touching you at all times yes annoying ma'am you're welcome
Thank you for the car keys. Opens the Tesla app. <laughs> but we're gonna need to turn off all Tesla apps now. <laughs> Get out of the car or else you'll be arrested. No. Fine, take the key. Hold on, I've still got to do something. Get your nasty, crusty, musty hands off my car. Well, I got to take the battery out for safety purposes. So. Okay, fine, how about we make a deal? I pay you a million dollars and I get my new car. A million dollars, but what about your old Tesla? What's going to happen to that? I'll sell it on eBay. No, you have to go back to like two. Uh, my battery. I got the battery. You can't have it. Please, ma'am. A million bucks. A million isn't going to do anything. More than a million will be yes. Here's the money. How much is it? Two million. Thank you, and you can have your car. Thank you, and now you can have your battery back. Thank but you. then for another new car and a new cleaning, you'll have another two million, please. I don't think I want a new car anymore. I'll just keep this one. Goodbye. For those, for those who don't know, I have damaged the battery, so the car is gonna break down for two million. <laughs> It's a stupid, annoying idiot from Apple. I want to kill him sometimes. Oh my gosh, help! Please! Please! My car broke down for some reason. I think you damaged the battery when you took it out. Shut up! I don't even care. I don't know why I even have your number. You're the stupidest person I've ever met. You're an AI. You're an annoying idiot. Fine. No! I can't drive back to my car. But the batteries are exposed to the water. Oh For those who it concerns, ZVIDS124 has died from being stranded in the rain with his, without his Tesla and no water, no food. He has also died because he has barely any subscribers and he's going to lose his race. So please subscribe and like this video.